Pete, you come up to me on the day of Luigi's wedding and you ask to do business with my enemies. Are you no respect for your godfather? Listen, Mario, I come here with all due respect. I come here out of respect for you and your brother and what you built. Look, you're the godfather and you've earned it. There's nobody questioning that. But respect ain't Rainbow Road, my friend. Respect is a two-way street. Listen, I know you got beef with the Kongs. That feud between you and Donkey Kong goes back to 04. But this trade embargo you've got going on against them, it's... it's unsustainable. Their operation's too big to not do business with them, Mario. There's no denying it no more. They've taken over so much of Long Island now that on the streets they're calling it Corn Island. Listen, it's just business. It's nothing personal. Look, when you wanted to shift the business to mushrooms, did we complain? No. And when that shit went down with Bowser, who backed you up? We did. The Jersey crew. We'd been loyal to the mushroom cartel. All we're asking for now is the freedom to do business with who we want to. That's all. Tony, you make me an offer I cannot refuse. Your business a deal with Donkey Kong? Get the hands on my blessing. Thank you, Don Mario. I appreciate you doing right by us in this matter. As a token of goodwill, I've had Polly prepare Luigi and Princess Daisy a bouquet of mushrooms for their wedding day. Oh, and send my regards to Princess Peach. Give this to a Wario. Make sure he uh, take care of it, Capiche? Hey. Vinny, show him the product. From our friends in Colombia. Made with 20% extra potassium. The best on the market. Okay. Now, we brought the product. Did you bring the payment? Yeah. No need to count it. I trust them. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah. Hey, you know, I was wondering, is it Donkey Kong or Don Key Kong? Look out, Don Key Kong. <laughs> Don't shoot. It wasn't the Kongs. Well, they're shooting at us now, boss. We've got to do something. Vinny, I'm taking one of the boats. Cover me. Ready to sleep with the fishes, Soprano? The only fish I'll be sleeping with is your mother, the whale. Whales aren't actually fish, they're mammals. Is this a fight or a marine biology debate? <laughs> Why did I start talking to you when I could have just shot you from behind? Polly, deal went south. And it wasn't the Kongs, neither. It was that mushroom-addicted midget f Mario. He had Don Key Kong whacked mid-deal. Kongs obviously thought I was the one behind it, so started blasting. Mario thought I'd be taken care of, too, in the crossfire. But Tony Soprano don't die so fucking easy. That pint-sized prick is gonna wish he stayed in the fucking plumbing business by the time I'm through with his high-pitched ass. I want him strung up by his fucking mustache, you understand? No. Nobody move a muscle yet. We gotta be smart here. After what just went down, cops will be all over everybody's ass for weeks. Keats too high for us to move against the Mushroom Cartel right now. And there's a good chance Mario will think I got taken out. I'd like to keep it that way until we're prepared to make our move. That'll be a surprise and all that shit. Where am I gonna lay low? There's only one place that makes sense. Thanks for letting me stay here, SpongeBob. I owe you one, pal. Tony, Tony, Tony! What are friends for? You're welcome to sleep with me anytime! Well, I wouldn't use that expression, but like I said, I appreciate it. Expression? What are you talking about? That I'm gonna be sleeping with you? But this is my house, and you will be sleeping here. So you will be sleeping with me, silly. Look, I don't think you really know what you're saying when you say that, SpongeBob, so I'm just going to ask politely that you don't use that terminology in reference to my stay here. I mean, we're already in a pineapple house. Things are fruity enough as is. Would you prefer if I say we'll be sleeping together? No, that, uh, that doesn't help either. Look, we'll work out all of the details later. But for now, let me introduce you to my very best friend, Pat.
Cat Drake. What brings you to Bikini Bottom, Mr. Soprano? A certain situation with some acquaintances of mine needs some time to marinate. That fucking Mario, he thinks he's the one who whacks. No, I am the one who whacks. Why, that feels so weird. I think it's great you wax, Tony. It shows how comfortable you are in your manhood. In fact, I just waxed last night. That better be your leg, pal. Hey, listen, what do you guys do for fun around here? Well, we could go to the Krusty Krab. Why not? When in Bikini Bottom, a Krabby Patty with Gabagool is just about the only thing that's gonna cheer me up right now. What's a Gabagool? You've never heard of Gabagool? Were you living under a rock your entire life, pal? Yeah, how'd you know? Remember, students, a true hustler does three things. Hustle, hustle, and hustle. What was the third one again? Don't forget, everyone's essay on the code-shaped business model is due in Friday. Class dismissed. Excellent lecture, Professor Ted. Don Mario, what are you doing here? I come up to make you an offer you cannot refuse. Look, Don Mario, I just got out of prison and I have no intention of going back. And besides, you agreed to let me retire from being your hitman after I took out Bowser for you. You should have thought of that before asking me for that loan. You don't want me to afford flaws on your Hustlers University, do you? No, Don Mario, please. I just need a little more time to pay the loan. Well, until you do, you work out for me. Okay, okay, geez. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. So who's the mark? Tony Soprano. Is Gabagool an instrument? No, Patrick. Gabagool is not an instrument. Mr. Soprano, I uh, hope you're enjoying your meal. These are on the house. Mr. Krabs, are you feeling okay? I've never seen you give out anything for free before. That's real generous of you, Krabs. And listen, you got a great operation here. These Krabby Patties are top notch. But you might want to work on the service in this joint. If that squid gave me any more attitude, I would have been having a side order of calamari if you catch my drift. And by the way, I heard Plankton's got a plan to steal your secret formula. So you're gonna want to start paying me protection. Cash is fine. It's so nice of you to protect us from Plankton like that, Tony. But how are you gonna stop his evil plan? I'm gonna make him an offer he can refuse. Like two for one Krabby Patties? Something like that, yeah. That's so clever, Tony. No wonder they call you a wise guy. So there I was in the Among Us group chat when fries. Larry the Lobster starts accusing me of being the imposter. So I says, shot. Larry, you can call me sus all you want. I'll have you a were the one in electrical. Pet. Then he said, what's sus about being in electrical? Oh. And, and I said, onion. you were standing there menacingly. To which Larry responded, that's Cap. At this point, I started to lose my patience and resorted to several remarks about Larry's mother that, while I do stand behind, I probably shouldn't have.